Guys, in this video, we want to look at Dapsone. <clears throat> now, what is Dapsone? Dapsone is diamino diphenyl sulfone. Okay, it is a D, it's called DDS, diamino diphenyl sulfone. This is the oldest, cheapest, and most widely used even today to treat leprosy. Okay. So basically how they work, they inhibit folic acid synthesis, correct? So they are sulfonamides. Now, we will not go into too many details of this. This can be given orally, okay? They can be given orally. <clears throat> Some adverse drug reactions you can note. They cause mild hemolytic anemia, especially with uh, who have uh, G6PD deficiency, they are more susceptible, okay? So hemolytic anemia, the RPCs are going to break. <clears throat> there is something called a sulfone syndrome. You can know this, sulfone syndrome. Here uh, this occurs because of uh, Dapsone treatment. Here there will be fever, malaise, lymph node enlargement, desquamation of skin, jaundice, anemia. Okay. Treatment is uh, almost the same. You can discontinue Dapsone, provide them some corticosteroids, etc. So we're not going into much details. This is all about Dapsone. Now let us learn about Clofazimine. <clears throat> Clofazimine. Okay. So what we know about it already. Clofazimine. It is a phenazine dye. Phenazine. <clears throat> it has leprostatic activity. It binds to the mycobacterial DNA and inhibits template function. It has anti-inflammatory effect. So basically it is an anti-leprosy drug. And all this we already know. <clears throat> so <clears throat> it is an anti-leprosy drug. Clofazimine. You can see here it is an anti-leprosy drug. Phenazine dye. Leprostatic activity, it binds to the mycobacterial DNA to inhibit template function. Anti-inflammatory effect. So that's why you can use it in the treatment of type 2 lepra reaction. And if there is some Dapsone resistant lepra bacilli, you can use clofazimine. Okay. Let us see what else is there about it. It is given orally as you can see here in this photo. It is given orally. Fatty meal increases its absorption. It accumulates in tissues. T half is 70 days. Whoopsie. 70 days. It causes reddish black discoloration of the skin and exposed parts. Let us look at this in more detail. Clofazimine. It is given orally. It has a T half of 70 days. Wow. And it uh, absorption increases with food. Okay. It causes, it accumulates in tissues. So this one, it accumulates in tissues. It causes reddish black discoloration of uh, skin. You can look at this photo only and think. Look at the color of the capsules. Reddish black discoloration of skin, discoloration of uh, hair, sweat, urine. And they have given some adverse drug reactions, not very important. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, abdominal pain. It is contraindicated in pregnancy. Guys, let us look at the details of clofazimine again. See, basically it is an anti-leprosy drug. It is a phenazine dye. Okay, phenazine dye. It has leprostatic activity. How does it work? It binds to the mitochondrial DNA and inhibits template function. There are many other types of uh, action. It uh, alters membrane structure. It uh, disrupts mitochondrial ETC chain. Okay. So basically it has leprostatic activity. It is not going to kill the bacilli. It is only leprostatic. Okay. So it is going to bind to the microbacterial DNA. It is going to bind to the DNA. This is important guys. You should write all these key terms. Okay. Is it uh, visible? If this color is visible. Okay. So then what you will write? It has anti-inflammatory drug uh, effect. So you can use as a treatment for lepra reaction. 
correct you can use it against dark zone resistant lepra bacilli that is also a good thing then clofazimine it is given orally it is absorbed well with fatty meal tea half is 70 days it accumulates in tissues it causes a reddish all this can actually be adverse effects itself accumulates in tissues reddish black discoloration of the skin especially the skin which is exposed right to the sun those parts will get discolored there will be discoloration of conjunctiva hair sweat urine everything it is used in multi drug therapy of leprosy let's add that here it is used in multi drug therapy of leprosy you can add the dose and all later when you are learning about that it is contraindicated in pregnancy what is contraindicated in pregnancy clofazimine that is anti leprosy drug contraindicated in pregnancy clofazimine is clear right reddish black discoloration of skin okay that's all right look at this also multi drug ther uh, therapy multi drug therapy le regimen in leprosy see here you have posi bacillary and multi bacillary in multi bacillary you will give clofazimine 300 mg once a month once a month is enough because it's t half is 70 days correct once a month you will give supervised dose and daily that person has to take 50 mg self administered daily but once a month you supervise and you will give 300 mg so days basically daily also he is taking clofazimine in multi bacillary because it is more uh, difficult to treat that correct look at this multi bacillary there will be more skin lesions more nerves are involved and the skin smear is positive so in multi drug therapy what and all you have you have rifampin daxone and clofazimine okay rifampin daxone and clofazimine for multi drug bacillary they will give it for 12 months revising this video was mainly to understand daxone and uh, to understand daxone and clofazimine right hope you have understood in the next video let us continue with multi drug therapy regimen in leprosy bye bye enjoy